2024 is the year to build wealth. There are so many different ways to become rich from nothing. We will guide you through these steps in this video. Before we begin, you must know that making money from scratch requires dedication, perseverance, and a willingness to adapt to the ever-evolving digital landscape. Embrace the power of technology, be proactive, and stay committed to honing your skills. Opportunities are waiting for those who dare to seize them. Number one, focus on reducing expenses. I have everything in life I want. It's, it's a very simple thing. If there's anything that money could buy, there are things money can't buy, but if there's anything money could buy that I wanted, I'd do it this afternoon. It, 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 I wouldn't have any problem with that at all. I do not think that standard of living equates with cost of living beyond a certain point. I mean, up to a certain point, there's no question that it does. I mean, in terms of having good housing, good health, uh, good health service, good, good, good food, everything, but, but good transportation. But there's a point, I think, if anything, you start getting inverse correlation. My life would not be happier, in fact, I'd be worse if I had six or eight houses or, you know, a whole bunch of different things I could have. Uh, it, it just doesn't correlate. And uh, uh, so I, having everything I have, I mean, you can't have more than that. Like losing weight, the answer is being honest about your inputs and outputs. Make sure money coming in is more significant than money going out. Most people concentrate on money coming in because it takes less personal responsibility to do so. Look at what you spend and reduce it to below what you have coming in. You can go for one holiday a year instead of three. Stop eating from restaurants and fast food places. Instead, you can cook a batch of chicken in foil or a pot once a week and eat it with salad or veg. You would have successfully reduced your meals from several hundred a week to 10 or 20 at most. When buying clothes, patronize a cheap shop. Nobody will notice if you are careful, or if you must buy more expensive items, buy them in the sales and wear them until they wear out. Don't wear fashion. Wear what is outside fashion, but still acceptable. Then you don't have to keep replacing things. Live in the cheapest accommodation you can to suit your lifestyle. If you need to host people occasionally, go out to a restaurant instead, or make sure you live near a hotel. Don't buy for the possibility of visitors. If you have rooms unused for more than 50% of the year, downsize or rent out the room. If you can avoid owning a car, don't buy one. Otherwise, buy the cheapest one that's a few years old and fits your needs. Don't do this because you feel poor. Do it because it gives you the means to invest, whether in yourself, getting a coach, buying some kind of investment product, or saving until you know what direction you want to take. Switching to a net positive lifestyle is never too early or too late. It's a habit worth cultivating. Number two, harness the power of your skills. Take a moment to introspect and identify your unique talents and abilities. Are you a wordsmith? A skilled graphic designer? An adept problem solver? Leverage your skills to offer freelance services online. Platforms like Freelancer, Fiverr, and Upwork allow you to showcase your abilities and connect with clients worldwide. Start by creating an enticing portfolio, highlighting your expertise and using your skills to secure paid gigs. While at it, you have to master the listening skill. People will pay almost anything for someone who listens to and tries to understand their problems. Not because the person is cheating them, but because people who care for others more than themselves are scarce nowadays. We all just seek validation in what we do, and if you can give someone the feeling that you care, you will make more money. You can also listen to your employees, customers, and bosses to give them what they want. Number three, embrace the digital marketplace. The internet has revolutionized how we do business, and you can capitalize on this digital age to make money without upfront investment. With dropshipping, for instance, you can sell products without stocking inventory or making upfront purchases. You first need to decide on a specific product category or niche that you want to focus on. This will help you target a specific audience and make it easier to find suppliers. Then, look for products that are in demand and have a good profit margin. 
You can use tools like Google Trends or Amazon bestsellers to determine what people buy. Look for suppliers who offer dropshipping services. You can find them on websites like AliExpress, Oberlo, or Salehu. Make sure to read reviews and check their ratings before choosing a supplier. The next step is to create an online store. You can create an online store using platforms like Shopify or WooCommerce. These platforms offer free trial periods that you can use to set up your store. Use social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram to promote your products. You can also reach out to bloggers and influencers in your niche to promote your products. When you receive an order, please forward it to your supplier, who will ship the product directly to your customer. Starting a dropshipping business with zero investment requires hard work and dedication. You must invest much time and effort researching products, finding suppliers, and promoting your products. But with persistence and patience, you can build a successful business. If you've reached this far, it means you are enjoying our content. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to keep seeing valuable videos like this. They're the businesses that you buy once and then you don't have to keep making capital investments subsequently. So you, you, you get, you do not face the problem of continuous reinvestment involving greater and greater dollars because of inflation. Uh, that's one reason real estate in general is good during inflation. If you built your own house 55 years ago, like Charlie did or bought one 55 years ago, like I did, uh, it's a one-time outlay. Number four, go for real estate. Real estate is a fantastic wealth building vehicle because you can create significant multiple income streams from one investment. You earn steady monthly cash flow and sizable profits when refinancing and selling. Plus, the equity gives you options to borrow for additional investment because it's secured to a hard asset. While it's hard to predict consumer trends over time, people will always need places to live. What most people don't realize is that you do not have to supply any funds to own a property. Welcome to the world of joint ventures. Numerous investors want to be passive partners on profitable deals while you do all the work as an active investor. Think about the power of that for a second. What is the cost of one property these days? Repeat the process a few times with different partners and you can quickly become a millionaire within a short period. Number five, build networks. It sounds stupid, but go to places and events where people are doing big and exciting things. Have conversations, soak everything in, gather a lot of cards, make yourself available, and make genuine friendships. People will tap those they like over other people when they have opportunities. Connections are like lifelines. The more we have, the better it increases the chance of having a quality person in our life, which could, in turn, open doors of opportunities. Sometimes it's not always about the paper, but rather the human touch. And we'll never know when a lifeline could be helpful. Perhaps not on a sunny day, but it could save us on a rainy day when the sun doesn't shine when we need it to. Be open, be yourself, and be ready to have a conversation. It's not always a must to have a script before we answer, though it might be required in some cases. However, it has a lot to do with practice, from talking to big timers to the coffee auntie. Number six, change your mindset. Do you know where the competition is steepest? In the middle, very few people shoot for big things. They aspire to everyday things. There's nothing wrong with that, but it shows you where most people are. Your mind is a powerful tool that can help you achieve many things, including becoming rich, famous, and successful. It begins with you believing in yourself. Believe that you can achieve your dreams and goals. If you believe you can do something, you will be more likely to make it happen. Always remain positive no matter what happens. Rest assured that you can become wealthy even when you start from scratch. This will help you stay motivated and focused on your goals. Remember, it's not about becoming rich, famous, and successful overnight. It takes time and effort. But with a positive attitude, hard work, and the right mindset, you can achieve anything you want. It's essential to remember that success is different for everyone. It might not look the same for you, 
as it does for others. What's important is that you find what makes you happy and fulfilled and work towards it. Number seven, persistence. 99% of the world quits before they make it big, which is why the 1% is so much further than the other 99%. It's not that the work is exceptionally hard, difficult, or complex, but just that it takes a long time and you are too comfortable to work that long. If you want to make more money, you must stick with it longer than anyone else and keep doing it. Look to the successful people of the world. The actors, singers, musicians, and business people who made it big are the ones who have worked for years without giving in. Remember to subscribe to our channel if you found this content valuable. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. We'll see you in the next one.